Hello friends, today we will read the chapter 3 of 7th class English with Honeycomb and the name of the chapter is Gopal and the Hills of Fish. We will read this chapter with the help of the picture just as the stories in a comic book. This is an interesting chapter and an example that nothing is impossible in the world. Smart people can achieve anything with their intelligence. And this story belongs to the coastal region in India. Coast means the area where land meets sea. Or you can say the area near sea. Okay, so let's get started with the chapter. It was the season for hills of fish. Fisherman could think of nothing but hills of fish. Now, it was the season for hills of fish. Just as summer used to be the season of mangoes and we love to buy eat and talk about mangoes and same is the case with the chapter and hilsa is a kind of fish which is famous in west bengal or maybe at other places also and this is a costly fish this means that it was a great time for fisherman because this was the season of hilsa fish and the fisherman will get money by selling the fishes. So all the fishermen were talking and thinking about only and only hills of fish. Fishmongers sold nothing but hills of fish. Come by the price of hills is down today. Fishmonger means fisherman. They were selling only hills of fish like just cheese ki demand hoti hai to sab usi kaam ko start kar lete hain and they were attracting the customers by saying that the price is less or down come and buy hills of fish usually jo price hota hai hills of fish ka wo like costly hoti hai but now as this is the season of hills of fish the price is also down the householders could talk of nothing but hills of fish and the householders means the people who own or live in houses they were also talking about the hills of fish as you can see in the picture how much did you play for that hilsa you wouldn't believe if i told you as you can see in the picture that a man brings a hilsa and his wife is asking about the price of the fish and then that man said that you will not believe it if i will tell you the price means the price is very low and in the palace too the courtiers could discuss nothing but hills of fish now seen as in the palace of the king there are also the courtiers courtiers means you can say the advisors of the king they were also talking about the hills of fish your majesty you should have seen the huge hills i caught it was and then he stopped and it means that one of the courtier said to king that ke maine jo huge means huge means very big bahut badi jo hills pakdi hai wo aapko dekhni chahiye thi wo king ko keh raha hai now in the next picture the king said stop it now when we hear the same thing again and again and we got irritated and same was happened with the king also and he got irritated by listening hills of fish and hills of fish again and again and said stop it are you a courtier or a fisherman and he asked that courtier who was talking about fish that are you a courtier or a fisherman why are you talking about fish the courtier fell silent with downcast eyes and the king felt guilty now that courtier become silent and downcast means niche ko kar liya apni eyes means apne face ko but the king was feeling guilty guilty means doshi use laga ke shayad maine उसे गलत तरीके से बोल दिया एंड द किंग सेड आई एम सॉरी 
I lost my temper. It is the season for hills of fish and no one. And he stopped talking. The king said sorry to that courtier. I lost my temper. Lost temper means to get angry. Now the king was feeling sorry for his rude behavior. And he said it is the season of hills of fish and no one. And he stopped them. Means bolte bolte wo ruk gaya. Now in the next picture, the king said that not even Gopal can stop anyone from talking about hills of fish. Not even for five minutes. Now Gopal is also one of his courtiers. And he was famous for his wisdom. Means he was very wise. And the king said that everyone is talking about hills of fish. And even Gopal cannot stop the people talking about hills of fish. And Gopal said, oh, I think I could, your majesty. He said, your majesty. Now, majesty is the word which is used to express royalty. Now, Gopal said that, I think I can stop them. Then let me see you buy a hill of fish and bring it to the palace without anyone asking you a word, word about it. Now the king is saying, okay, then let me see whether you can stop it or not. Means he gave a challenge to Gopal and challenge was that, that you will go and buy hill of fish and bring that hills of fish to palace but the challenge is that throughout the way from the market to the palace nobody will ask you or talk to you about hills of fish i accept the challenge your majesty gopal said that i will accept your challenge means gopal accepted that challenge now, when everybody is talking about the thing which is in demand, so it becomes actually tough to make them stop. So, Gopal had an idea how to stop the people. Now, in the next picture, as you can see, there is Gopal and his wife. A few days later, why is your face half shaven? Now, after some days, he half shaved his face. And when her wife asked him, he said, I am dressing up to buy a fish. Nagopal said, I am dressing means getting ready to buy hills of fish. Now in the next picture, as you can see, Gopal is applying something on his face. Now his wife asked, what's the matter with you? Why are you smearing yourself with ash? And Gopal said, I told you I am dressing up to buy a hills of fish. It means, now Gopal started smearing. Smearing means spreading or applying ash on his body. Ash means rock. And when, her, when his wife asked him about that, and Gopal repeated the same answer that I am getting ready to buy hills of fish. Listen to me. Please, you can't possibly go out in those days disgraceful rags. What are you up to? Now, when he came out from house, his wife tried to stop him. She said, Ke aap aise purane fate gande mein bahar nahi ja sakte. And up kar kya rahe ho? To usne fir kaha Gopal ne, How many times must I tell you, man, I am out to buy a huge hills of fish then gopal said i have told you many times ki kitni baar bataun that i am going to buy a hills of fish it's happened to him he has gone mad and her wife said that he has gone mad ki pagal ho gaya hai because usko uska actual plan to pata hi nahi tha ki why gopal is doing all these things what is the purpose behind that now in the next picture, as you can see the appearance of Gopal. Now next scene is in the market. Gopal bought the hills of fish and started walking towards the palace. 
Now Gopal has bought the heads of fish and he has started walking towards the palace. Means now he is going to palace. Mother, look at that man. Isn't he comical? Now on the way, a child said to his mother that, Mom, look at that man. He is looking comical. Comical means funny. He is looking funny. And he, now in the next picture, he must be a madman. Hush, I think he is mystic. Now other men were saying him mad and mystic. Mystic means rehasmai. Jiske baare mein kuch samajh na aai. Kyunki usne apne face pe raakh lagai hui thi. Or face ko half shave kiya hua tha. Or half shave to waise koi bhi nahi kar sakta. So that's why people were saying him mystic. When Gopal reached the court. Now Gopal has reached the court. What do you want? I want to see the king. And the guards at the gate asked him that what do you want? Ki kya chaate ho? And Gopal said I want to meet the king. You can't see the king. Get away with you. Because his appearance was not good. So the guards said get out from here. You can't see the king. You can't meet the king. Now, as you can see in the next picture, when the guards did not allow Gopal to enter the palace, then Gopal started dancing and singing loudly. Now, inside the palace, the man is crazy. Throw him out at once. I want to see the king. अब जो बाहर बातें कर रहे थे गोपाल एंड गार्ड्स कि ही इज मैड थ्रो हेम आउट एंड गोपाल वॉज सेंग आई वॉन्ट टू मेड द किंग एंड द किंग हु वॉज सिटिंग इन साइड द पैलेस वॉज हेयरिंग दैम एंड देन किंग सेट ब्रिंग दैट मैन टू मी एट वॉन्स यस यूर मेजेस्टी एंड देन द किंग ऑर्डर्ड हिज मैन टू ब्रिंग द मैन इन साइड द पैलेस Gopal was brought before the king. It's Gopal. Now the guards has brought Gopal in, and the courtiers recognized him. Means usko pehchan liya, and they said, "It's Gopal." Now in the next picture, as you can see, the expressions of the courtiers. They were saying, "The man has lost his mind." I think it's one of his crazy jokes. Now they said that he is out of his mind. इसका दिमाग खराब हो गया है. And one was saying कि ये इसके crazy jokes में से एक है. That mean they wanted to say that Gopal is joking. Now all right, Gopal, out with it. Why are you dressed up in this ridiculous fashion? Now King said to Gopal, Okay, Gopal, now tell us. Why are you wearing clothes in this ridiculous way? Ridiculous means absurd, foolish way. Your Majesty, you seem to have forgotten something. Now Gopal said that I think that you have forgotten something. मतलब गोपाल ने किंग को कहा कि आप कुछ भूल गए हो. Forgotten something. And then King thought, I have forgotten something. मतलब किंग को कुछ याद ही नहीं है स्ट्रेंजली इनफ नो वन सीम्स टू बी इंटरेस्टेड इन हेल्स ऑफ फिश टूडे फ्रॉम द मार्केट टू द पैलेस एंड इन द कोर्ट नॉट अ सोल हैज स्पोकन अ वर्ड अबाउट हेल्स ऑफ फिश देन गोपाल सेट दैट नो वन इज इंटरेस्टेड इन हेल्स ऑफ फिश टूडे बिकॉज फ्रॉम द मार्केट टू द पैलेस नॉट इवन अ सिंगल सोल मीन अ सिंगल पर्सन Not even a single person has spoken about hills of fish. Now, why the people did not talk about hills of fish? Because they were talking about the appearance of Gopal. Because Gopal has intentionally made his appearance strange or awkward, so that people will notice his appearance only, not the fish. Now in next picture, 
Only then did the king remember the challenge he had thrown to Gopal. Thrown means given to Gopal. Now the king remembered that challenge and said after laughing, "Ha ha! Well, Gopal, congratulations! You have achieved the impossible once again." Now the king said after laughing, "Congratulations, Gopal! You have ach- achieved that thing which was maybe impossible for others." क्योंकि हर कोई ऐसा नहीं कर सकता कि खुद का मजाक बनाए लेकिन गोपाल डेड दैट एंड कंप्लीटेड द चैलेंज गिवन बाय द किंग सो बाय यूजिंग हिज इंटेलिजेंसी ही हैज डन द टास्क गिवन बाय किंग एंड आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर